So you went and bought those essential oils to help you with your anxiety. Now what? What should you do with them? I'm going to tell you three different ways that you can incorporate essential oils into your daily life to help you with anxiety. And do realize, of course, that I am not a medical doctor. I am just telling you ways in which I incorporate them into my personal life and ways in which I suggest that you do as well. So one of the simplest ways is going on behind me right over there, and that is a diffuser. So for that size diffuser, I put about uh, five to seven drops of essential oil. It will depend on the size of your diffuser because some of them hold more or less water. So the more water they hold, the more essential oil you want to put in them. And there is a bit of a misconception that people have about diffusers. Uh, they sometimes are confused with humidifiers and those are two different things. So a diffuser has a metal plate inside it that vibrates ultra, ultra fast. And that sends particles of the water and the essential oil up into the air. So it's not steaming the water. That's not steam coming out of that. That is the actual particles themselves. So that is one way, use a diffuser. And then another way is if you are using a really high quality essential oil, the brand that I use specifically is Young Living. If you're using a very, very high quality essential oil, you can actually ingest it internally. Uh, you cannot do this with any essential oil that you get on the market. You really need to do your research because sometimes essential oils have a lot of additives and a lot of junk in them. So you need to look for very specific high quality essential oils. And if you do have ones that are safe to take internally, you have a couple of options. Uh, you can either just drop it right under your tongue or you can buy empty capsules. You can buy them from the store, you can buy them from Amazon and you put a few drops of the essential oil into the capsule and then you can take it that way. I will say some essential oils to me taste great and then other ones I do not want to drop under my tongue because they don't taste good at all. So those are the ones that I usually put into the capsules. And then a third technique that you can do is one that I absolutely love. Um, and it's one that I do every single day before I go to bed and one that I tell to um, my clients that they should do as well. I take about two drops of essential oil and I put it on my hands and then I'll rub my hands together and then I'll cup my hands in front of my face and I'll breathe in the oil. So it's an aromatherapy process. And a great way to uh, use this technique is to count 30 breaths. So you'll have the oil on your hands, you're cupping your hands in front of your face and then count backwards from 30 down to one. So you're counting 30 breaths, so 30, 29, all the way down to one. And depending on how fast you're breathing, that will take you anywhere from, gosh, probably a minute to a minute and a half. So it's a great way to do like a little mini meditation while you're breathing in the essential oils for the aromatherapy. It's incredibly powerful. That's why I do it every night. I actually do it in bed. When I know I'm done for the evening, I'm getting close to wanting to go to sleep. Um, it just helps me relax, helps me wind down. And then, of course, we're getting all of those really amazing benefits of those chemical constituents that are in the essential oil. So I do have another uh, video that is about why essential oils are powerful for helping you with anxiety. And then I have another video that also talks about two of my favorite essential oils specifically for anxiety. So make sure that you go and watch those videos. And then for other great content about anxiety and perfectionism and even imposter syndrome, you can find those resources on my website, which is listed in the description below.